If I could have just re queued and be back into a rage straight away, I'd have no problem with it. But the fact now we've got to sit in for another like three to five minutes, it's just painful. Wonderful. Round two. I don't even see how he got out of the, the bunker. Like, I couldn't see him outside the bunker. So I don't know where he was shooting me from. Because you spawned down the bottom there. So he somehow ran up and got had clear view of me, but not... Nah, he, he was shooting me from the bunker bit. And where are the crates? I didn't bring any reserve keys. I think night building was the best place to get the survival lighter sorted. All the jackets and duffel bags and stuff that can spawn there too. What are you looking forward to most in 2024? Travel, time with the fam. We're doing a bit, fair bit of traveling in the second half of the year. Shouldn't happen, thanks for the 11 months, dude. Side plant. Actually, surprised we haven't found a GPU. Uh, not a GPU, sorry, uh, an orb key. Crates are there. I might just look at weapon crates for now. Oh, this is actually really upsetting. Now I have to go D2 with a fucking pilgrim. Why upsetting? Because I have to go to D2 to get out. Let me do that.
have really bad luck with um keys spawning on this map. I'm going to try the roof of the other building and see how much luck that gives. So unless someone's already opened these doors. Roof has some jackets. Think this will replace Edge of Darkness with an addition that could buy a gamma container. Uh maybe. I I'd, I'd lean towards yes. Is this any good? Like compared to a raptor? Raptors plus three.
I'll listen to all types of music. The LDR. Busy, I love you too. Thanks for 21 months, man. <clears throat> There's no noise is much better. And that's the first key we found. Somebody coming. Hey, man. Magical powered scav. When is the ground zero's guide dropping? Uh, about ten hours time, twelve hours time. That's the last knife we need. Technically.
Uh, we're pretty much aiming to do two guides a week, chat. So, priority guide went out last week, uh, or the end of last week. Uh, we kind of got held up a little bit because we're finishing up the before death video and we did the ground zero guide, which goes out tonight. It was meant to go out last night, but the, um, we didn't put it out because of, uh, news video. Hey mate, how you doing? I'm um, just upstairs. Hold up, I'll come down. How you doing? What's going on? I'm actually a PMC. Do you want to do the PMC scav extract? Why is this guy using a pestily soundboard? Because because it is pestily. Guys. Hello. Sure, we can extract. Them. You're not gonna shoot me. I'll even pull my knife out. No, I don't I don't need you to pull your knife out. Just a man's only as good as his word, you know? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, let's go. Hi, here we are. Hey, you need the OSC show? Alright, let's go. You don't have a scout uh, a survival lighter, do you? Oh, let's get it then, baby. I got something even better. Um. No, nah, I don't need that. I don't need that. A lot of guys over here. Jesus. Are we all friends? Oh, it's Papa Pesty. <laughs> oh God. Man, there are so many scabs on this map. Oh, Palm Pesty, exactly, yep. Thanks, guys. Legends. Wait, are you, are you the real Pestily? Yeah. Oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> oh, you didn't believe me. Uh, I actually fell asleep to your hardcore video last night. Oh, nice. It wasn't bad. Well, you'll be in one in about a month's time. <laughs> it wasn't bad. <laughs> oh, I understand. You guys watch me in bed all the time. You actually thought I, <laughs> thought I was soundboarding. Did we get anything we needed then? I don't think we did. Fuck. I, th I searched every duffel bag and, and filing cabinet. Oh, yeah. We got AK. It's probably a ZB or... Checkpoint. Oh, that was the one we were doing the things for. Wasn't that one of the barters that we were building up towards? That one. Well, we can sell our vodkas and manuals. Oh, man. All right, we have so many nuts and bolts now. I don't think that's going to be an issue. We can hand that in. Be a vendor. What was the T plugs for? I was saving up T plugs for something as well. No, nah, it wasn't anything in the hideout. Oh, key barter. Which one? Three or three. I need two more T plugs. Um, 
Let's get rid of some crappy ammo real quick. So anything that I deem is crappy. FMJ. Oh, we might need a little bit of that. We'll keep one stack. I can't see us using this. Right, let's just get rid of it. We'll keep one stack because BT is like the best. Rip ammo can go. This is... So SOST is the actual not one that's not too bad. It's slightly better than 855. I think we've got enough to skip the PSMO and just go straight to the... Right, SOST is not ter terrible, they say. Uh, we'll get rid of them. We've got EKO, so we can get rid of that. Get rid of FMJ. It's not going to be much money. 50k. 50k is 50k. <sighs> I kind of want to keep the Pilgrim, but how the frick do we put the Pilgrim in the stash? Like, realistically, it's just going to be a headache. I could probably... We don't need all these. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, we go back in. Five, six, seven. It's reserved the play. Oh, finished. The motor. After all that, we don't need the motor now. Is there anything we actually need though? Oh, we could craft this. Why not? Let's do it. That would be all of them. That would be everything for the quest. We did actually get a little bit of progress. We got a kill for pest control. Why can't I survive? I find a survival lighter, and I need a Cordura too. I don't find Corduras on reserve much. I have to go back to streets. Streets is where it's at. So I need that Cordura because that weekly is um that weekly is 0.04 rep. The survival lighter is our is our like crutch of the season. It's the thing that's fucking us around the most. Um, I got red x-ray. Maybe I'll just go straight across to, um... Relax. You know? Did that? I did. Probably gonna die here. Oh, we got one. All right, where's our closest extract? Crash site damage house. This site's not actually that far.
Biggest problem now is we've got to run for a pretty hot spot. Trying to get over it quickly. If I get across this road, I, I can go underground to avoid players. Unless obviously they're underground. Technically could have came up in this building here. Funny how hardcore the smallest item can become the most intense thing. We have it! We have it! The key! Finally! We have the key! Alright, now we do Ollie logistics. We have we have the we have the pilgrim as well. Oh my god, I'm happy. I'm so happy. So all we have to do is survive a interchange raid. And then we can uh, hopefully have the level three ragman required to get the next stash upgrade. Any other game close to as punishing as this? I don't really feel like Dark Souls is punishing like this. Because in Dark Souls, you can die over and over and over again. It means nothing. I think Rust. Rust is probably close. I, I haven't really played a lot of DayZ in the last decade, so I don't really know. In DayZ, can you like stash stuff and put it in like... I remember back when I started playing back in 2013 or wherever it was. Like you had tents you could hide stuff in. You can build bases. I feel like Rust. I feel like Rust can, is the only thing that really gives a good representation of the highs and lows of Tarkov. Like in Rust, you can raid a base and be like, oh my god, we've got so much good stuff, and you got the rush of trying to get it back. But the problem with Rust is it's like one giant high and, and one giant low, whereas Tarkov gives you highs and lows every hour, or maybe even more often. But like in, in Rust, it could, you could go to bed one night, wake up, and just be devastated. All your hard work gone. Daisy is on a closer level than Rust to is to EFT. I don't know. All I know is I have Oli logistics and I've got to get out of this raid. Dear Nikita, Lord of Ballistics, give us the key to Oli logistics. We've chanted that so much, I'll be chanting it in my deathbed. I'm gonna go this way. So that scav seems to have a hard on for me. Not a 
Let's check the PCs while we're here. Why OE logistics key? Because we've been needing it for requests for ages now. And we finally got it. Many shots. Would have been the HP rounds in there. Didn't have enough pen. Coach, Bunky Toad, thanks for six months. Wow, well, there's some non believers in that one. Voting against me.
Right, we need to put this on. Should be able to hand it in from being on. Oh, we only got two fuel conditioners. Okay. It makes no difference, does it? If it's damaged or not. You can just hand it in general, yeah? There's no... Oh, I need money spent. Okay. Let's do a barter trade. Uh, from um, what's his name? In the airdrop. We got a fuel conditioner. All right. Ragman three. What did that open up barter wise? Should pay attention. Teapots are now a rig. Mm, not gonna do that. We used to be able to do a tri-zip barter. Okay, so teapots and condensed milk now give free rigs. So we should just pay attention to that. I don't really think I'm going to do these ones. Realistically, getting um, mass corduras, it's possible, but... All right. So now that we have that, we have 3.2 million. And what we need is 8.5. So we need 5.3 million. We have two. Right, we've got four Bitcoin, which are selling for half a mil each. So we need three million. We were just going for the most valuable items. All right, let's just see how much I could make if I really wanted to just go ham and sell lots. So it's 2.5. It's 2.5, so it's at 6 million. Can I open up the next one and keep adding to it? Okay. Okay, we can sell one of them. We've got about four mil. <clears throat> that puts us what seven and a half. So we need another mil. TNT, I kind of want to hold on to because it, it's ammo cases. There's another fifty k there. So we need another mil. I think if we go do we do a street trade and we just go for like all the Bitcoin spawns that we know. I'm done with all the logistics now. I can sell that. Wasn't one of your active quests three hundred k. Probably, I don't know. Well, we can get a Cordura as well. That's 300k as well. So if we find one Cordura, there's like 300k. We could sell these armors and the tea. To be honest, we could sell a heap of this food. Quiet search. We keep, we keep two whiskey. Sell the rest. We got vodka. Use for armor. Sight. The guns and stuff. All right, we'll keep the vodka. I don't think this is used for anything anymore, is it? Yeah. Millions can go. Mayo can go. Sprats can go. Is this used for anything? Fuel.
All right. Let's go find a Cordura and about 700K in streets and then we'll get this, um, the upgrade. Is there anything we can do in streets at the same time? Urban medicine. A pure money run of streets. We haven't done that in a bit. Like a cash run. No, I'm keeping my axe, mate. You never sell the axe in hardcore. When it gets down, sometimes that axe comes in really in handy. Hey, Pesto, what's the best way to level up traders for a beginner? Just sell stuff to them. I have an old guide that kind of shows you what you can buy and flee and sell straight to them. Um, still fairly relevant. Did you already do living high? It's not a crime. I'm pretty sure it's after so it good part two and three. And uh, I don't know how I'm going to get that done without a lot of luck. You get one for a quest reward for dress to kill, but is there any barter trades for gazelles anymore? I don't think there is. So I have to find a player or a scav with a gazelle on. Operation find Cordura. I think if we could get the Cordura this raid, I'd be fairly confident I could get the rest of the money for the stash upgrade. Right, let's do it. Going well, purely for money. We need to be quick. Scaver a player. Never found it on this, but you guys say it's a. Uh... I haven't made any home art, made all scream in ages. Should do it though. Wow, being ripped off here. Caban could be up. Got it. Need Nick Saws. Oh, we should get away from here now. I wonder if the, the bot runs out of ammo on that thing. Yeah, my frames are taking dumb. I just opened a falling cabinet. I know which one it is too. Oh, it's there. The one there.
There's someone down there. Snob's guy didn't wait, did he? Straight onto it. If we left now, we're not going to get half a mil. But we do get two CPU fans. That's probably like, at best, 200k. We do get a loadout. I can I try MVD? Do I have sewer or damage? Damage. I'm gonna go over to MVD, see if I get some money out of that. Ideally we need half a mil, if not a mil. A mil would be amazing. But we're gonna need a Bitcoin to get a mil really. Not super keen about having to run down a street. Trash round. That's good money. That's good money. Okay. And I get 60 seconds of extra sprint. I want to run straight down the street. Yeah, I didn't yell at Dan. I'm sorry. Dan!
This is going to be our best way to get Shooter Born done. T5000s. Up an item. Uh, the propane would have made it really difficult to regen while running. That was a really solid raid. R.I.P. Doubters. Yep. RIP Doubters! It's not bad at the moment. I don't know. I haven't been outside today, but yesterday was actually quite nice. Yesterday, the day before was horrible. Right. Right. Do we just sell the T5000? If we were to get one graphics card, we would have like very quickly like six Bitcoin or something. Nuts. That's 50K plus 250. So it's like 350k we just made. Four hundred and ten. Oh, really? Should not have that. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, I think we could do it if we really wanted to. Do we do it? I think we do. I'm going to try and do it without selling the GP coins. So we're at 7-3. look at the hot air real quick i just want to sell like a thermometer or something and we're going to need it like on the next upgrade that'd just be really frustrating you know so we don't need anything anything for that we don't need any of that that's upgrading we need another letx for that we need two pressure gauges right so we don't want to sell the pressure gauges Just need one SSD and we can upgrade the security. Cool. So we just it's just two pressure gauges, right? This is the main thing we need. All those other things can go. Both thermometers, don't need a wrench. Get rid of that. What else can we sell? We have weapon parts? Oh, we can sell these. The thermites are used for um, mag cases. Oh, where's the peroxins? Let's sell like that. All right, we need 410K. Just gonna sort them. No, it was a non found in raid one. I got it from an airdrop. That fuel conditioner. Maybe we just sell the GP coins. Make it easy for ourselves. Do we need blue gunpowder for anything? Do we need iridium for anything? I don't think we do. All 
All right, 150k to go. There's an ophthalmoscope in here we can sell. 91k. There's something I need military cables for. Gingy's is, is like having stash space though, so it's like selling that only takes away stash space. Prim 48's a dead key. Right, we need 50k. Red pliers. We have a lot of elite, so we probably don't need Probably sell that. Okay, no, I don't have another one. And oh, no, I got actually got two there. Cool. Right, sell them. It is done. It is done. And we still have all the stuff we need for this. So we just need to find a hand drill and metal cutting scissors. <sighs> we don't have the money to do this now. So we need to find another lead X before we do this upgrade. How much more for the gun rack? Uh, I just need the hand drill and the metal scissors. And then we've got some gun storage too. And at level 35, we can get the thick item case. So we don't need to focus on really anything anymore. We just do quests now. Now that we finally got that done, we just do quests. We can go do mini bus on interchange or we do gratitude. This actually might be really hard to get the rep. Actually, we need to find this Cordura. What were the other dailies? I don't even remember. Scavs from range on customs. Shoreline scavs. Yeah. All right, let's go um, let's go streets one more time, find this Cordura. We're not leaving until we find a Cordura. All right. Piece of Cordura. <clears throat> can you run down here and then just go straight into the boss fight? Whoops. Or can the boss spawn if you're if you spawn here? Yesterday you said you weren't a big fan of headsets at the moment. Is there a reason why? Because of the crunchiness of the snow. My frames. <clears throat> I'm going to assume there's a boss up just because of the frame rate that I have. I'm going to go check the boss over here. Seventy FPS. It's actually really bad.
this rip stop him hates me chat if you're asking what room it is I highly recommend you go exclamation mark priority keys and watch that guard literally tells you every good loot room in the game that you need a key for. Was there something in the stash that needed a battery? Like another car battery? Two more. Was it again? Just so I remember. Vent three. Okay. <sighs> Another rip stop. Thank you. Shoreline farm for Kajura. Why? Scent milk's now good. Closest extract is quite a way away. Three minutes. I'll do it. Try courtyard. Press to loot lol. I don't know how to say your name. Sorry, dude. Um, I haven't had donations on my stream since 2019. Nope, it's not up. Hit relax. I'm already max weight, dude.
cars up, but we don't have any money. And this stim's actually doing pretty solid. I actually feel like we could sell a scav junk box now. Not that we need the cash. That's been long enough, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been eight, nine minutes. Sneal89, thanks for 30 months. Sir Mavros, thanks for the tier one. a lot of rep. Um, we'll hold on to the aramids for now and all this. How much can I sell them for? 127k. this gear as well. Oh, we've got the money spent for Jaeger now. That's done. We have to get a heap of money now for Peacekeeper to go to the next level. So we need to like buy another, what's that? $8,000. So that's probably about 1.2 mil, 1.1 mil. Crap is done for his stuff. So this mechanic now, sell guns to mechanic again. I'm glad I got that task done though. Like I said, we didn't get many levels done, but we, we got the huge stash upgrade. One graphics card. Tell me. Got to keep dying for that. I really want to get through this lighthouse stuff. This is not the gun to be doing it with, but... Let's give it a go. Good timing. Let's see if we get sniped on the hill or something. I don't know. This is 545 ammo is atrocious for doing this. Just putting that out there. And I shouldn't be doing this at all with this gun. Um, but. Man, I just want to get some markers down, you know. Even if I only got like two or three down, I'd be pretty happy with that. an AI SKS cap just shoot me through all of that. Look at him. The second one. This is not going to end well. He's already dead. No shot. I 
Let's that grenade go off. Tell me the direction of that grenade, please. Sounded like it's inside my brain. Oh, it's a player. No fucking way you're alive. You saw him on the rock? How did the update affect the way the rogues act now? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Got three mags and a dream. We got one marker down, which is huge. If I can get this next kill, it'll actually be pretty pog. It's pretty pog. So they still charge you. I got four rogues, a mark, and a player. I should have ran out and left. Even though we died, we got actually a bit done then. So I got another four of these. I got the f first one of this marked. They started charging me, so I had to go inside. I think that's been successful for today, and I am think I'm going to have a break. I've been playing a lot lately, and... I would mind have a bit of a shorter day. Uh, we got the stash upgrade, which is huge. 
huge. And uh, we are well not truly on the way to getting max traders. We are going to smash it. Mm -hmm.